Hi, and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I'll be discussing Vice President Kamala Harris's proposal offering $25,000 to help 4 million first time home buyers. We'll also take a look at whether interest rates will continue dropping, and I'll also provide you with the latest market update for homes in Winter Springs for the month of August. In this article, dated August 16th and written by Lance Lambert for Resi Club, he goes on to say On Friday, Vice President Kamala Harris unveiled her plan for addressing crushed housing affordability and spurring the construction of 3 million additional housing units in her first term, including number one, federal assistance for first time home buyers. The Harris campaign says its plan would allow over 4 million first time home buyers over four years to get significant down payment assistance on average of $25,000. Number two, creating a tax incentive to encourage builders to build starter homes. It will complement the neighborhood homes tax credit, the Harris campaign says. Number three, an expansion of existing tax incentive for builders that build rental homes that are affordable. Number four, creating a $40 million dollar innovation fund that would empower local governments to fund local solutions to build housing. The problem for Harris, as the country saw firsthand during the pandemic housing boom, housing demand can jump quickly, but total housing stock cannot respond as swiftly. So even if we assume that Harris's plan could increase new construction to some degree, it would be a gradual increase that would take years to materialize. Meanwhile, the increase in housing demand from the $25,000 first time down payment assistance would be felt immediately once it went into effect, said Lance Lambert. Now let me explain why a $25,000 assistance program might backfire, making homes even more expensive and ultimately defeating its purpose. This boils down to supply and demand. When there are more buyers than homes available, prices naturally rise. While inventory has been increasing, we are still in a seller's market. The core issue for home buyers today is affordability. Home prices are simply out of reach for most buyers. Home Homes were relatively affordable until the onset of COVID-19. And one of the driving factors behind the price surge was the influx of stimulus money from the government. Injecting more funds into the market now could lead to too many buyers chasing too few homes, further driving prices up and worsening the affordability crisis. Hi, my name is Evelyn Malavia with LPT Realty. I've been selling homes in and around Central Florida since 1989 with a focus in Winter Springs. If you're thinking of selling or purchasing a home, I would greatly appreciate the opportunity. Now on to some information on interest rates. In this article dated September 6 from Yahoo Finance and written by Jennifer Schoenberger, she goes on to say, with continued cooling in the job market and confidence that inflation is now dropping back towards the central bank's target rate of 2%, two members of the Fed said Friday, the time has come to cut rates but stop short of telegraphing by how much, said Jennifer Schoenberger with Yahoo Finance. I believe the time has come to lower the target range for the federal fund rate at our upcoming meeting. Fed Governor Chris Waller said in a speech at the University of Notre Dame titled, The Time Has Come, the central bank, which is set to meet September 17th and 18th, is laser focused on the job market now. As the job market has weakened, at the same time officials who were worried about inflation inflation on the other half of the Fed's dual mandate are more confident inflation is cooling substantially back to their 2% target, said Jennifer Schoenberger. Fed Governor Wallace said the jobs report for August supports the story of ongoing moderation in the labor market. Walla argues that to maintain economic growth, the Fed needs to start cutting rates. Federal Chair Jerome Powell said in a speech on August 23rd, the time has come for policy to adjust. Powell also said the cooling in the labor market has been unmistakable and added that the central bank does not seek or welcome further cooling in labor market conditions, said Powell. As we approach the next meeting just one week away, all eyes are on the Fed. Buyers, sellers, realtors, builders, lenders, and the stock market are all expecting a rate cut of at least a quarter point. However, many economists and many of us are hoping 
for a half percent cut. If the Fed only reduces the Fed fund rate by a quarter point, it's likely we'll see another quarter point cut by the end of the year. Just 11 months ago, on October 19th, 2023, interest rates were as high as 8.03%. Today, they've dropped to 6.11%. The reason for today's lower interest rate is largely due to the anticipation that the Federal Reserve will begin cutting the federal funds rate at their upcoming meeting on the 18th of this month. Financial markets often react ahead of official announcements, adjusting rates and expectations of future moves. Investors are betting that the Fed will lower rates to boost economic activity. And as a result, lenders are already lowering borrowing costs in anticipation. However, here's what makes me a little worried. If the Fed cuts rates slower or by less than expected, we can easily see interest rates increase from here. On the other hand, if the Fed cuts rates faster or by more than expected, we can see interest rates drop into the 5% range. Wouldn't that be wonderful? In this Realtor.com article dated September 5th and written by Ralph McLaughlin, he goes on to say, The housing market slowed considerably as both buyers and sellers patiently wait for a lower mortgage rate environment. Though the median list price for a nationwide decrease compared with the same time last Last year, homes saw a modest price increase on a per square foot basis. Sellers are increasingly showing patience and modesty, something buyers haven't much experienced since the post-pandemic housing market. With homes moving at the slowest rate for an August in five years, the share of listings with price cuts reaching the highest for an August since 2018 and active listing counts hitting the highest since May 2020. Now let's go over the Winter Springs housing market update for August 2024. When the median sales price was $515,000, that's up from August 2023 when the median sales price was $472,500. The active days on the market increased substantially to 22 from just five in August 2023. In August 2024, the number of homes sold per MLS was 36. That's a decrease from August 2023 when the number of homes sold was 38. The interest rate for August 2024 was 6.5% lower than August 2023 when it was 7.09%. The housing market for Winter Springs is reflecting national trends. Inventory is unusually high, homes are staying on the market longer, and the number of homes sold in August was the lowest for any August since 2019. Yet, Despite this, the median sales price increased. Winter Springs currently has one of the highest housing inventories I've seen in years. As of today, there are 86 active single family homes on the market and 47 of them have had price cuts. That's over 50%. Additionally, in August 2024, homes took 22 days to go on the contract. That's the longest we've seen in seven years. The main reason we saw the lowest number of home sales and homes staying on the market a lot longer in August 2024 comes down to affordability. My advice, if you're ready to buy, don't delay. At this moment, inventory is higher than usual, giving buyers more choices and increasing seller flexibility. Many sellers are willing to negotiate offer concessions like contributing towards the buyer's closing costs and or prepaids. They may even handle repairs. Once the market picks up again, these buyer-friendly incentives will likely fade away as competition increases. Trying to perfectly time the market is risky and often doesn't work out as expected. If you're serious about purchasing a home, this could be your best opportunity to take advantage of current conditions. Below, I will link the site for the entire school district for all of Seminole County. A link for the Winter Springs calendar so you don't miss out on any of the fun activities. On October 2nd, you can get out and have coffee with a cop. This is an event that provides valuable opportunity for community members to engage with local law enforcement. And kids really enjoy these next two activities. Food truck gatherings where they meet with friends and eat and spend time at the park. This month, it will be held at Trotwood Park on Thursday, September 19th from 5 to 8 p.m. You may also want to schedule a movie at the park 
The movie will be Disney's Coco and it starts at 7 p.m. on Friday, October 18th. I hope you get out and enjoy all the fun activities throughout the city. I'll also post the link to the Humane Society. They are always in need of volunteers and donations. I appreciate you coming back to my channel. Bye for now and be safe.